Hi, this is Tim, and today we're going to talk about how to wire an analog voltage circuit. So for this video, we're going to be using the potentiometer on our trainer and the analog display, which displays voltage and current. Also, we're going to be borrowing some 10 volt off of our drive. So a little bit about what a potentiometer is, is it's a variable resistor. So normally you would have resistors, they kind of look like this. They have a bunch of lines on them that tell you the value. Uh, link in the description to figure out what color code is what resistor. And if you need multiple resistor values, well, you need multiple resistors. But what a potentiometer does is it gives you a resistance in, in a range. So in this case, this is a 5K potentiometer. So it goes from 5K max, and as you turn it, it goes down to say two and a half until you get all the way to the bottom, and then you have zero resistance. So let's just take a voltmeter real quick, and we will put it over here on ohms. And first, if we put it between the two outside terminals, you see there it's reading five ohms. So let's go down a little bit on our resistance just to give us a little more precision. But now if I go between the middle terminal, which is the wiper, as they say, and one of the outside terminals, then as I turn it, the resistance will change that it's putting out. And we can use that to vary the signal to something. Now the other device is our analog display, which does voltage and milliamps. And we'll go to the back side of the trainer and talk a little more about it. Now here's our potentiometer and here's our analog display. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to wire our potentiometer to our analog display and display a variable voltage. Now typically a potentiometer connected to a drive or something like that, it'll be 10 volt between your two outside terminals and then your analog signal will come off at the middle terminal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get 10 volt off of our drive over here and wire it into our potentiometer. And then I will take the middle signal and wire it to our display. So right here, you can see we have our analog input to our drive, but right beside it, we have a plus 10 volt and our analog common. So right there, we can pick up 10 volt and normally that potentiometer would go back to this analog input. Now there's one additional connection that'll need to be made for our trainer and also for a lot of setups. And that is our analog display is powered off the 24 volt of our trainer, but the 10 volt we're getting is off of our drive. So they are separate power supplies. So we'll need to tie the common of the drive 10 volt to the common of our 24 volt power supply. So I'm just gonna add a second wire right beside of this analog common and connect it to our 24 volt. DC common. Now we can already see we have 10 and a half volts showing and our dial is all the way over counterclockwise. So as we turn this knob, it is going down. Now this is backwards of what you would typically see. So if you wire your potentiometer and it shows up backwards like this, all you need to do is swap the two wires on the outside terminals of the potentiometer. So I'm going to take the wire off the number one here and I'm going to swap it with wire number three. Now all the way clockwise is ten and a half volt and as we dial this back you can see our voltage signal goes down. And this is how your typical command speed or anything else where you see that potentiometer works. All right next we're going to do milliamps in this video. But that portion of the video has gotten a little too long, so I'm going to break it up and that'll be the next video. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask them in the comments. Please like this video, subscribe. Until next time. Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Be sure to subscribe for more great videos. And like this video and comment on what you would like to see next. Visit our website where we offer a full line of PLCs, simulators, control panels, PLC trainers, and more.